which consists of point then a forward block gain one takeout point and then come back to the original summing point so it has minimum one feedback and one forward gain so this one is our input r of s this is our output equals to c of s this one is forward gain equals to g all arrows are left to right are always default this is c of s so this is also equals to what c of s feedback is written as h forward is always written as g this sign is positive this one is negative so right now we are discussing negative feedback let call this equals to b of s and let this be r of s and this is b of s then let call this one is e of s okay so first equation is what r of s plus b of s equal to what e of s but what is the sign of b of s is minus this is e of s multiplied by g equal to what c of s this is c of s multiplied by h equal to what b of s so can we replace this c of s, e of s by this value and this e of s by this value so what you get from this we get r of s minus b of s will be equals to h into c of s and right hand side is e of s so i want to replace e of s so is it equals to 1 by g multiplied by c of s so this c of s will take on right side and what we get is r of s so r of s equals to 1 by g plus h whole thing multiplied by c of s so this will be equals to r of s this is equals to 1 plus gh divided by what g multiplied by c of s so we want to write down this information in this block and this block has input equals to what r of s and this equals to c of s so this is r of s this one is c of s so we want to multiply r of s by a reciprocal of this so that will be equals to what g upon 1 plus gh it's called as transformation so everything will be replaced and we get g upon 1 plus gh just remember like this you can spell in this way what is g g is called as forward gain so forward gain upon one and what sign is here is opposite sign of what feedback it's a minus so sign is what plus multiplied by product of forward gain multiplied by feedback gain suppose we have a situation like this and our forward gain is what g1 g2 g3 one feedback is what h1 h2 so we can recall the formula and we should read like this forward gain so what is the forward gain is g1 g2 g3 upon 1 then we look for the sign of this so what is the opposite sign is plus multiplied by forward gain that equal to what g1 g2 g3 multiplied by feedback gain h1 h2 so very quickly we can write your final answer Suppose we have changed the forward gain as g1, g2, g3 by h1. This one is numerator denominator form. We have a numerator equal to what? g1, g2, g3 and denominator is what? h1. So how you read again? Forward gain. So that equal to what? g1, g2, g3 divided by what? h1. Correct? And then 1. Opposite sign is what? Minus. So this one is what? Plus. What is forward gain? g1 g2 g3 by h1 multiplied by feedback gain feedback gain is h1 h2 now you can solve this equation further if you want to solve this we can eliminate this h1 and we can eliminate this h1 so this elimination will be equals to this one will become h answer is g1 g2 g3 upon this one is h1 plus g1 g2 g3 h1 h2 is it correct now what is the observation is that this term is what is it numerator so this one is numerator is this term is denominator so this one is denominator 
plus numerator is it numerator this is numerator multiplied by feedback is okay what i mean is i mean that this value equals to what n by d what is n number three is g1 g2 g3 and what is denominator h1 and what is feedback h1 h2 so our answer is numerator upon denominator opposite side numerator multiplied by feedback can i skip this step there then is my answer is final answer i will, I will write again here my transfer function is numerator numerator is g1 g2 c3 denominator h1 opposite side of feedback plus numerator g1 g2 g3 multiplied by h h is what feedback h1 h2 so can i cancel this step and jump my answer finally as far as series rule is concerned output of the first is input to the next and answer will be product that is g1 multiplied by g2 the special about parallel they have same input and their output must go to the same sum point this one this one is c of s so parallel means addition with respect to sine so sine is plus and sine is plus so answer is g1 plus g2 if this sine is minus this will be also minus if feedback is consists feedback always start with summing point and end also with summing point it must have one forward block and it has must have one feedback so this transfer function will be given by n by d so this is n divided by d opposite sign of feedback is plus numerator multiplied by feedback if there is no denominator you make it equals to 1 we have a priority rules highest is given to series that is for multiplication second priority is given for division and third priority is given for addition or subtraction these are same as bond mass rule now is there any series operation here any series operation no is a feedback operation is there is it a feedback operation and is it also feedback operation you have multiple feedback operation so when we have multiple operation feedback operation you select the innermost so you select the innermost now close this it has one summing point it start with summing point goes to forward block and come back with feedback so this is a standard feedback operation so this one is n by d form or n form only n form what is the value of d 1 so real result of this one is numerator numerator is g1 upon denominator which is equals to 1 opposite sign of feedback that will be plus multiplied by numerator that will be g1 multiplied by feedback that equals to h1 so everything inside the dotted block will vanish and the new block will come so you have to redraw that block and again continue so this summing point you can visualize as it is so this sign is plus and this sign is minus everything inside this one will be replaced by g1 upon 1 plus and this feedback will be h2 now is this is again a feedback operation and for this feedback operation is this term is same as n by d term so what is the numerator for this one is g1 so your answer is transfer function equals to c of s upon r of s and you should speak like this numerator equals to g1 upon denominator denominator is 1 plus g1 h1 then you have to go for plus sign so what is the sign here minus so you have to write a opposite sign on this one is plus numerator numerator is g1 multiplied by feedback feedback is h2 that is the final answer it first observe for series operation anywhere we have series operation no acha anywhere we have feedback operation which one is feedback operation anywhere feedback operation is there is it a feedback operation or parallel operation and what about this one is it parallel or feedback parallel both are parallel operation is the output of this are going in the same summing point and what is the feedback 
we start and end with the same summing point. So let close this. Close current is come. The result of parallel operation is just addition as per their respective sign. So this one is G1. G1 sign is positive and G2 sign is also positive. So this block will replace and we get parallel operation. Is this operation is also parallel operation? So we will enclose this. We can perform two operations simultaneously, but both the blocks must be independent. So this one is another parallel operation. So this one is parallel operation. So what is the result of this operation? This one is G3 is what? Positive. And what is the sign of G2? G4 is negative. So everything inside this block will be replaced by G1, G2. Everything inside this one will be replaced by G3 minus G4. Now whatever left, let's copy down this. This one is R of S. Sign of R of S is plus. Feedback is minus. Inside this dotted line, we have result equal to what? G1 plus G2. And for G3 and G4, we have result of G3 minus G4. Now, this operation is a feedback operation. In this one, we have numerator equal to G1, G2. Denominator equal to 1. So we will use the same answer. That is this N by D form. So your answer will be transfer function equals to CS upon RS. Numerator is G1, G2. G1 plus G2 upon Denominator is 1. Opposite sign of feedback is plus. Then we have to write down numerator. G1 plus G2. Multiplied by feedback. That is G3 minus G4. If you have sufficient time, you can expand it and then you write. Otherwise, this is the final answer. Okay, for this one, let's check the priority first. We have a because output of G1 is same as input of G2. So let's close this first. So the result of series is product. Product is G1 into G2. So these two blocks will be replaced by G1 and G2. Now, if you observe this thing here like this, and if you close this path, then is a feedback of G4 and G3 is same and the output of G4 and G3 are going into the same summing point. So this operation will be a parallel operation. So the result of parallel operation will be addition. Addition of G4 having positive sign, addition of G3 as per positive sign. So the result of these two block will be G4 plus G3. First you will construct the main line. This one is R of S. The sign of this one is plus, this one is minus, this one is plus, this one is minus. This is this summing point. G1, G2 is replaced by product. This is also plus. And this is parallel. So this is G4 plus G3. So main line is complete. Now we will close this. So this one is between series and parallel operation. So we will take out one branch from here. And we will enter into this side. Which one? And the second takeoff is at this point. So this is the second takeoff of H2 will end into the first summing point to H2. Now again check your priority rule. What is the highest priority? Series operation. Do you have any series operation here? Is this block and is this block in the series? No. Why not? Because of takeoff point. Then any parallel feedback operation is here? Is it feedback? Okay. Once you get one operation, stop and execute that operation first. So execute this operation. Print of feedback. This is numerator form. Denominator is 1. So answer is numerator is G1, G2. Denominator, denominator is 1. Opposite sign of feedback is this is plus. So opposite sign is minus. Numerator is G1, G2. And feedback is H1. So everything inside this one will be replaced by one block. Let's proceed for next step. Okay, we have this one is R of S. We are not disturbed to this, so it will be as it is. Result of feedback we will return here already is G1. Which one now? 
So this one is H1. This one is same as G4 plus G3. We have to rearrange this. 3 first, then 4. H1 will be there or H1 will not be there? H1 will not be there. Is H2 is present here? Yes. H2 is present here. Okay, what is the highest priority? Series. Do you have series operation? Yes. As soon as you get one operation, stop discussing it. So let's do the series operation. One and the result will be the product of these two quantities. So these two will be replaced by another quantity. Okay, this one is R of S. This block has sign equal to plus, this has minus. The product will come here. The product will be written as G1 into G2 upon into is it G3 plus G4 and divided by 1 minus G1 G2 H1 and this one is H2. Now this time this term is numerator and this term is denominator. We will write down our result in the standard form which is CS upon RS the first is numerator upon denominator opposite of sign feedback is plus numerator multiplied by feedback and let write down this term here so transfer function is numerator is G1 G2 into G3 plus G4 denominator denominator is 1 minus G1 G2 H1 plus sign numerator numerator is is G1 G2 into bracket G3 plus G4 into feedback feedback is H2 and if you have a time you can expand it. Let 